What it do everyday people, man. It's your boy PJ. I like to send a thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you to my loyal subscribers. And if you're new to the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you are a current subscriber, please share this out to your friends. I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you. Peace. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing. When you let your nuts hang. What it do everyday people, man. It's your boy PJ today. Got a, a very, very good review. This is one of my throwback reviews. I actually redoing it because I redid it. I rebought the same stupid ass product again. So this is a cleaning video. I'm gonna show you if this shit is good or if it's not good. And by the look of the commercial, cue the commercial. By the look of the commercial, this shit on Facebook is supposed to be good. And it came from Japan or, I don't know. It's a multi-function, all-purpose cleaner. So by the look of the video, this shit is supposed to be cleaning cars. So I can use it on this raggedy. shit for no damn reason like that's why i didn't want that loud ass shit on my camera that's why i wouldn't fix the muffler interrupting my video and my little good little spill on this shit like, anyway we got this all-purpose cleaner so let's see if this all-purpose bubble cleaner can work on some real tough ground because you can see the ram is clean baby it ain't clean it's dirty but i don't need i don't need no i don't got no ground or nothing on there but i got some grimy ass shit that we need to clean Check this out. Boom, boom, hold on. Yeah. Yeah, this motherfucker, man. Let me put it in the sun. So, yeah, so as you can see, man, we got all type of dirt and grime and grit and grease and all this shit. This is years of cooking, man. You know what I'm saying? Years of cooking. I ain't really got to worry. I got to clean that out, but I ain't really got to worry about too much cleaning that because don't know who go in there. But you see where food come in and all that shit be flaking off, falling in the food and shit. So you gotta scrape it off every now and then. Well, then you see how dirty these are. You see the rakes are fucking dirty and black. And I'm finna spray all this shit. I'm finna see, I'm finna dip my grills, my racks. I'm finna dip my racks in some of this inside of this bucket and we're gonna let them soak when we let them soak we're gonna see how good they come out you know what i'm saying so this is gonna be a now and later So this is a two-part experiment. We go with part one. And we're gonna be putting the racks inside the bucket. So I'm gonna put half of the cleaner in that bucket, a little under half. But before I put the cleaner on my grill, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray all this extra dust and shit out. You know, I ain't worried about it getting off of there. I'm just gonna scrape all out of there. And as soon as I spray this all off. I'm gonna do it with the high pressure to scrape as much as possible off. And then I'm gonna use the cleaner and let's see if we can get this bad baby back to new. I'm not really worried about this side, like I said. I'm just gonna high spray spray. It's this part where the food go. That's the one I'm worried about. So let me fill this up and then I'll get y'all into the, the good shit when we're using the high pressure spray. I don't wanna 
We all don't gotta see that low pressure shit. All right, everyday people. So we got that soaking in there. And as you can see, look at that bottom turning black already. I would've, well, that the bottom ain't turning black. That's the racks. Well, maybe we'll see. I'm gonna get them a little covered up more with water, but we're gonna see all that. I think they are covered, but I'm gonna put more water. We're gonna see in a couple hours after I finish cutting the grass and all that shit, we're gonna see how good that turn off. Now, let me switch over to this high pressure washer. Oh yeah, this is that dirty dog right here. This is that high pressure washer right here that's got that high pressure that's gonna be high and pressure, okay? And it makes a little swirl. You can see in the video, if you watch closely, you can see the swirl. So let's get started. Let me cut it. Oh yeah, yeah. All right. So. So, as you can see, we got it clean. It cleaned off a lot of that dirt, but you can see all that black. You can see the black that's still on there. And you see where the bolts is. So, I'm gonna, we're gonna see where these bolts is black. We're gonna see how clean they get. Remember where the brown and the black is. That's the back of the thermometer right there. So, we're gonna spray this inside, mostly the top. We're gonna really get this top really i really want this top and these edges what up everyday people man so what we got here man we got this facebook product man y'all probably all seen it this is the all-purpose cleaner that you see when you scroll on there and they got like some tires and they cleaning all that mud mud off the tires and shit like that <laughs> My car is not that dirty, so I am using it for my grill. And so I put the second coat on here. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just letting it sit and we're gonna see. This stuff, I think it cost me $15. It was $14.99 plus $5 in shipping. I expected it to take about a month to get here, but it only took two weeks. It didn't take long, but I wanna see how good it does. Now we can see that's 20 minutes in the water. Um, the water's not black, black, but we can see the stuff starting to fall off. And as soon as that, I'm gonna get out about an hour because that shit, them, them things is dirty. Them is, I'm talking about years of cleaning. So I'm gonna give that some time. I'm gonna cut this backyard. I'm gonna spray this a couple times as I'm cutting the backyard because I'm not scrubbing a damn thing. That's the main thing. I'm not scrubbing anything because this shit look like it worked. So it, it should work. If it works right, I don't have to scrub. And this power washer is good enough to get everything off of there that I need, all right? So I'll get back to y'all as soon as I finish cutting this grass. And then we gonna, we gonna spray all this stuff off and see how good it look after, after we all done and clean. All right, everyday people, let me holler at y'all later. All right, everyday people, man. So I just gave this a good uh, spray for the last time. And as you can see, we got to the metal on most of it, but uh, not to the metal on all of it. And then you, we got to the metal on this part. But see, here's the thing. I usually cook in this area. So that's where most of the, the smoking shit is, where all the, still is still crispy and where i don't smoke at most of you know i didn't use that side most of the time so that's why that's like that so 
there you have it did that work was it worth fifteen dollars no not not for the grill it didn't do the job let's pull these out look at that look how dirty that water is why should i pull this one down oh look at those all right so let's see let's spray all this shit off of there oh yeah it's coming up it's coming up a lot Ooh, look at it damn look at all that Alright, so this is what we looking like when we all dry. So that bottom, you know what I'm saying? That play, that part stay good, but that's the top. That's the one I was worried about the most. It's because of where all the smoke goes. And as you can see, we got a lot of that dirt up out of there. Old, old ass food and shit. So spray these off. Instead of buying new ones, just gave them a good clean. And they, a lot of, as you can see, when they was coming out, all that dirt and food and shit that was on. So it's gonna be nice, man. All right, everyday people, man. Thank y'all for checking out this review on this all-purpose cleaner. Of course, it didn't do as well as the commercial said, because it. I guess it, it did, but it didn't. I want to see it do a lot. I want to see it empty out some shit. But of course, I want to I want to see it clean up some shit so good that you have to question its validity. And we did, and it didn't work. So this is a fail. I need to stop buying this shit. I always give them the benefit of the doubt when I try. I always give them the benefit of the doubt because I try this shit with other cleaners and doing other shit, but it never works out. And so I try with the more expensive shit. I try to buy the shit online because sometimes you might run into that charm, but this ain't it. What they need to, what they need to do is start giving a bigger bottle. This some bullshit. This shit ain't that good to give me such a little bottle. Give me a bigger bottle, you fucks. You lame pieces of shit. This is a fail. Oop, F. You know where this goes? Uh. Slam that motherfucker on That garbage out of here Alright day day people man I'm gonna wrap this shit up Shout out to the Ryobi 1900 PSI 1 gallon per minute 1.2 gallon per minute Shout out to the Honda This motherfucker got a 3 year warranty It's going back It's going back this week Cause the warranty's up next month So Listen, shit. Hey, gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank y'all for viewing. Holla at you later. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you later. Peace.